Hi, Janice Good here. I've had I've had some of you wanting me to do a stretch and put it on YouTube, so here we go with a nice, easy stretch and relax. So let's just start by rolling our shoulders back nice and easy. And as always, just go at your own pace. And if it hurts, don't do it. It's okay. And then feel your arms reaching back. It's so important to stretch every day if possible and definitely after working out. For some people it's a little slow, it took me a while to want to teach stretch, but now I love it. And we're just going to do a figure eight with your right arm reaching as far to one side as you can and then the other side. change hands, figure eight. And next time your right arm is over, we're gonna hold it right there and just push your right hip away from your arm so you're really getting in a <clears throat> good stretch all along this right side. And then just kind of roll forward a little bit and just slowly round up and your left arm over and hold and then push your left hip away, push it away. And then down, just round your back as you slowly come up. Right arm up and over again and hold. Push your hip away. And down. And slowly come up. And left arm up and over. Push the hip away. And down. All the way up and just arch it around. When you round, you want to tuck your bottom under. And then just move your hips around in a circle. And here comes Charger to say hi. <laughs> now look at the camera, say hi. <laughs> no, you want to play. <laughs> Other way with the hips. Other way. We'll play later. It's like a child. They know when you're on the phone and that's when they want to play. Now tuck your bottom under and back. Under and back. Relax. Take your right arm and just twist one way and then the other. And switch arms. So you want your right leg back. You want to press your heel into the floor real good and the back foot facing straight toward your chair. I'm in the angle just so you can see a little bit better. But you want that heel pressing down into the floor to get a really good stretch in the back of that right calf. And if you want to, you can just move your foot a little bit from side to side and you'll feel the different places that your, your leg is being stretched. 
and come up on your toes. And the same thing, just kind of move from your big toe to your baby toe, back and forth. And then we're gonna bring that back leg in about halfway. Stand up nice and tall and bend both knees. And this just gets that back leg a little deeper into that muscle called the soleus. Just gets a little better back there. And relax. We're gonna come up, put your left leg back. Press that heel into the floor real good. And gently move from side to side. toes and again from side to side just a little bit and then bring that back leg in about halfway stand up nice and tall and bend both knees without bending forward weights on that back heel Spread your feet apart as far as they comfortably can. You want to make sure that knee stays in alignment with the toes. And just gently lunge side to side. Just go at your own pace. You do not have to keep looking up to see what side I'm on. Just put your head down, close your eyes, relax, and stretch out those inner thighs. Take it to one side and hold. Does not matter which side. We're going to get them both. And just relax. Stretch out that inner thigh. And then the other side. And walk your feet up. You want to step back from your chair. We'll do it sideways again. Just back from your chair, and you just want to arch and round your back. Nice and easy. If the arms don't like it, you can come in a little bit, and the, the arms can be slightly bent, but just try to arch and round your back. And then with a fairly flat back, you're just going to circle your hips around. to your chair and when you come up your shoulders are going to come up back and press them down and up back and down up back and down okay now we're going to turn the chair around so it faces you I'll turn on the angle so you can see a little bit just going to take a big breath in. We're going to exhale. Put your hands on the side of the chair. Now, if you do not feel comfortable with one leg up in the air, please do not do this stretch. But if you can, we're going to lift our right leg up and we're going to twist so the side of your leg is up toward the ceiling. Put your, put your left hand on the seat of the chair and your right arm is going to go over the back and you're going to stretch your right leg and your right arm in opposite directions until you feel this nice stretch all along that right side of the body. Now put your hands on the side of the chair. We're going to put that right foot under the chair, toes up, and then just sit back and feel that nice stretch all along the back of that right leg. Roll the shoulders back. Big breath in. Exhale down. Put your hands on the side of the chair. Your left leg is going to go up hip high. 
twist to the side so your side of your leg is up toward the ceiling. Right hand on the seat of the chair, left arm over the back, and stretch that whole left side in opposite directions. Hands on the side of the chair. That left foot goes under the chair, toes up, and just sit back and enjoy that nice stretch in the back of that hamstring. Stretches, hands on your knees, arch and round, down and up at your own pace. You just want to just be nice and loose. And then we're just going to circle around. Nice and easy. over our head side to side. Make sure you go all the way to one side before you go to the other. Does it matter if you're doing it the same direction as I am or not? And next time your arm is up and over, we're just going to hold it there for a few seconds. And the other side. and tall and arch and round. Try not to bend forward this time. Arch and round. It's more right through the rib cage. And then we're going to circle, lifting from the rib cage without bending over this time.
we're going to place this right ankle right at the left knee. Sit up nice and tall. And if you need to, you can just bring this leg in with the hand. But if you can, straighten out that left arm. Hook it on that leg. Right arm comes behind. Look behind you and stretch. Relax. We're going to put this right foot to the side of the chair. Drop the knee. Lean back just a little and tuck the bottom under and you'll get that quad. We'll get a little better when we go down to the floor. Okay. Just in case you're not going down to the floor, it gets pretty good here too. And come on up. Left leg out, toes up. Big breath in. Exhale as you go down. Relax. Keep that leg out as we come up. Right arm comes up and down. It's just a little bit of a twist. And we're going to come up, place that right hand right inside um, the right knee and sit up nice and tall, twist around. And the other side. Relax. Place that left foot right up on the right knee. Lean forward and relax. I hope all of you are having a great day. And come up, take hold of this leg, lift it up, gently rock side to side. And then we're going to put that foot to the side of the chair, drop the knee a bit, lean back a little bit, tuck your bottom under. Relax, sit up, bring the arms behind you, hold on to the side of the chair, roll the shoulders back, and just move around a little bit. your back, arms come out in front, stretch it all out. And come up. We're going to bring our right knee up and our right foot and our right hand are going to point and flex. And at the same time, our back is rounded and we are just stretching that out as we're stretching our foot and hand. stretched out while we're doing it but you do what feels good for you other way and relax we're just gonna come up and arch and round and circle a little bit sitting up nice and tall and the other way. And then we're going to round our back, bring our left knee up, and point and flex. And if again, if you don't like that knee up, you just put it on the floor and do it. It's okay. Sometimes I'm just too tired to lift that knee up, and that's okay. Twist in and out. circle. And the other way. And relax. And just sit back in your chair. We're going to reach our arms up toward the ceiling 
And we're not going to bend our arms and our shoulders are up close to our ears. We're just going to bring the shoulders down without bending the elbows. And reach up again. Shoulders come down. One more time. Up. Shoulders come down. And relax. We're just going to take our right hand out. Point down. And just gently take that hand and bring it back toward your body. And then up. And gently pull back. Again, if it hurts pulling back, we'll do it. And then we're going to turn that hand over so the palm is up. Just straighten that out. And relax. Left hand out. Point the fingers down and just gently pull back. And then fingers go up and gently pull back.
and walk your hands over to one side and then down you go. Nice and easy. Come up, walk your hands over to the other side and go down. And come up. So bring the hands behind us. Roll the shoulders back and just sit up nice and tall for a few seconds and relax. Now we have, our, have to cross our legs the other way because you feel it different. Arch and round. And circle. the other way. Then we're going to come up and twist side to side as far as you can one way before going to the other way. Walk your hands out as far as you comfortably can. Down you go. Walk your hands to one side. And to the other side. So you're reaching across each time. And again, just reach as far as is comfortable for you. And then over your head, nice and easy. your body's warmed up. We're going to bend that, that right leg back as long as it will go comfortably. Our left arm is going to come up and over and hold. Left hand comes down. Now if you can, we're going to come up on our knees, reach the right arm over your head and press your hips forward. And down. And then we're just going to lean forward again, as far as you comfortably can go. And slowly come up. Let's straighten our legs out front. Give them a little bit of a break here. Big breath in. And just reach out toward your feet. Again, you go down as far as you comfortably can go down today. And come up. Cross your ankles right over left. Point your toes. Big breath in. Exhale down. Up, flex your feet, inhale up, exhale. 
exhale down. Now we're going to bend that, come up, bend that right knee and arch and round again. I do a lot of arching and rounding. It just feels so good stretching out that low back where a lot of people have a lot of problems and it's no fun. And circle around. And the other way. And then we're just going to roll onto your side. And basically, you, you want both sides of your bottom off the floor. And the side of your foot is on the floor, if you can. And then right hand on your right ankle and kind of pushing that knee back and sitting up nice and tall, lifting from the rib cage. down and try to put our elbows on the floor. The one elbow will go down easily. You're just trying for the other one. If it doesn't go all the way, that is okay. And then you're going to reach that one arm out as far as you can. Just gently press it toward the floor. And come up. We're going to keep this right leg bent in. The left leg is going to go out to the side. Left arm is just going to reach side to side. And we're going to add the other arm. Stretch it to the opposite side each time.
get both sides of your bottom off the ground, your whole side of your foot on the floor if you can. Left hand around your left ankle, push that knee back and sit up nice and tall. And then come down on your elbows the best you can. to reverse it, but once you've done it a few times, it'll be easy. And then you're going to end up with that right foot just over by the left side of your body and just hold that position. Back again. 
You're straightening out your right leg a little bit. Bring that left knee into your chest. I'm just doing a figure eight from side to side. your arm doesn't reach the floor, do the best you can. You can bend it if you need to, but you want to be comfortable and you want that right leg on the floor. And take hold of the left ankle with the left hand, roll all the way onto your side, and then just bring that left knee up towards your chest and then around to the back and up to your chest and to the back. One more time, up to the chest, and then this time when you take it back, you're gonna tuck your bottom under and pull your foot up toward your head until you feel that really good in that left quad, the front of that left leg. And relax, and then you're on your back, knees up, roll over to the left side, and your right arm comes up and goes back as far as is comfortable. And then roll onto that left side. Take hold of the right foot, right ankle with the right hand. Bring the right knee to your chest and lift it back to your chest and lift it back. One more time to your chest. This time when it goes back, tuck your bottom under real good. Lift back till you feel it real good in that right quad, the top of that right leg. And on your back. With your knees bent, we're gonna tuck our bottom under and lift it up one vertebrae at a time. Lift your hips up toward the ceiling. And then slowly lower one vertebrae at a time. And then one more time. Tuck it under, lift up. And down. And just roll over and sit up. Roll the shoulders back. Just taking another great big breath in of goodness. And just exhale anything negative trying to keep a hold of you. Have a great day. And remember that God loves you so much. Blessings to you. Bye.